do. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to talk about Manchester Airport where two brothers assaulted armed police officers. Reform UK have taken it upon themselves to challenge the two-tier policing, two-tier justice system in this country. Firstly, the incident at Manchester Airport, within a few hours, a glimpse of what happened was released, some footage. It showed a police officer, armed police officer, kicking someone in the head. That was it, no context or anything. Outrage, racism, police brutality. The two brothers involved were from Rochdale. Things got hot in Rochdale. Rochdale police station was besieged and we had protests in Manchester about police brutality and racism. A couple of days later, there or thereabouts, somebody released the full footage which shows armed police officers, including a female officer, being brutally assaulted. At least one officer needed treatment. The police, female police officer, received a broken nose. Crown Prosecution Service, nothing. 11 weeks and nothing. So Reform UK are writing to Yvette Cooper, the Home Secretary, basically putting it on her toes. So what's really happening here? Well, the Police Complaints Commission are investigating a couple of officers, I believe. The police actually looking for the person that released the full footage. Yeah. Early doors, early doors, Reform UK have allegedly found out that someone senior in Manchester Police at the top or maybe above them made the decision not to release the full footage. Why the public being kept in the dark with everything that's going on? It leads to misinformation and frustration. Tell us what's going on. Tell us about an incident. Give some context and show the full footage. Now it's believed 500 people had access to that footage and one of them I believe released with good intent the footage police are trying to find that person so do we want our politicians getting involved with our justice system because what reform UK are threatening to do if the Crown prosecution system don't go forward with this case, they will take out a private prosecution against the brothers who brutally assaulted British firearms police. The firearms bit is very important. There is a risk if a firearms officer gets overpowered that that firearm uh, may be used, discharged by the assailants it is important that now there is a belief that the crown prosecution service will not press charges but are waiting for the outcome of the police complaints investigation and if the police acted improperly or one or two then no charges will be laid which is disgusting for me them two brothers assaulted police officers. They should be charged appropriately. What happened after that is incidental. That police officer or police officers will be dealt with. The public, the public requires justice. A few weeks after this, tragically, there was an incident and, you know, young children died. Swift justice 
was handed out to the people labelled as far-right, racist, fascist. Incidentally, if you're called racist, fascist or far-right, you've been silenced and cancelled, aren't you? Because quite often, people who are called them names are telling the truth, aren't they? If I was to say mass immigration young men coming here with no id possibly criminals and people of terror and i will be seen as far right maybe fascist and maybe racist see where i'm going with that so yvette cooper it's on her toes it's on Manchester Police as well. You see, the Manchester Police, the head of the police, and the Lord Mayor, Andy Burnham, for me, should be speaking out. They should be supporting their officers. Because not only are me and you, the public, waiting to see what happens with Manchester Airport, I'll bet you there's a shed load of police officers on the ground, ground troops on the shop floor, facing the public every day to see what happens. Because if... UK firearms office, British firearms officers in a place that needs to be secure are attacked and there are no consequences it don't leave much hope for them officers facing the public every day does it reform UK maybe you don't want politicians getting involved in matters that should be dealt with by the Crown Prosecution Service. Two tier, two tier policing, two tier criminal justice system. It's not good, is it? Me, I'm liking Reform UK. I'm liking the questions they're asking in Parliament. They've just taken a seat in Blackpool, a Labour stronghold, because I'll tell you what, if we have to put up with this shower of shit who in a hundred days have shown themselves not only to be deceitful, allegedly liars, allegedly masters of cronyism allegedly, corrupt allegedly then we are screwed I'm just going to leave it there guys thanks for your continued support I have got a wet ass. It is raining. God bless you all. Thanks for coming. I'll see you there. Bonus footage of our Brian. What can I say? Listen, guys. We need to stick together. We need to look after each other. Tough times come in. Never give up. So God bless you all. If you've got pensioners as neighbours especially this winter, try and keep an eye on them. Thanks for coming. Again, thanks for your continued support. Brian! Oh my Lord. I'll see there.